Hi guys, I'm Jen, founder of Life in General. And I'm Jordan. And today we're gonna show you how to fold everything. We're gonna start with jeans. So what you'll do is you'll find a flat surface. We usually just use the ground. Make sure the zippers are zipped, buttons are buttoned. Fold in half, tuck the butt. And then you'll do it in thirds. And then one more time, which is called a file fold. And depending on the size of your drawer, you'll either do it in thirds or in half. <laughs> Next up is tank tops. With tank tops, again, you'll be putting it on a flat surface. You'll tuck all the way in, just not past the collar. And then once you get that, you'll tuck in the straps and then do another fold. And then we like to do an extra fold so it fits really nicely in drawers. And again, just depending on the size of your drawer and the depth will be the amount of folds. You can also do it where the t-shirt is faced out. So you can see what it is in the drawer or not. Just personal preference. Next up, we're gonna show you how to fold sweaters. So same thing, flat surface always. You're gonna bring in the arms and we like to file downwards and then bring it in again and then do the opposite. It just comes for a really super clean look, fold in half and then again, depending if you're putting it on a drawer or a shelf, same look, just make sure it's all facing the same way. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna talk about how to fold hooded sweatshirts. So with both hooded sweatshirts and non-hooded sweatshirts, you're gonna do the same thing except for the step with folding the hood in. So bring in the arms, both sides. Tuck them in. And then when you get to this step, you'll bring down the hooded part, tuck that in, and just do one more fold. And the beautiful thing about this is you can put this in a drawer on a shelf and it looks nice both ways. Next up, we're gonna show you how to file fold shorts. Same thing, use a hard surface, zipper zipped, button buttoned, fold in half, tuck the butt, and then just fold it down once. So next we're gonna talk about folding active wear. We'll start with the pants. So you're gonna use a hard surface, fold in half, and then tuck the butt in again. And then what you'll do is with leggings, it's essentially a lot thinner material, so you need to do an extra fold to make sure it stays in the drawer. And then fold it again, and then one more. And it's so nice because it gets nicely put in the drawer like this. And then with the sports bra, same thing, flat surface. We tuck the straps in first, and then you're gonna file it into threes, and then one more. And then we always put matching sets together. So next we're gonna talk about how to fold PJs. Um, this is a beautiful set. So same thing, flat surface. You'll do the arms first, never go past the collar line. And then you'll fold the top down and you'll do it again. And then depending on the drawer and the material, we like to make them a lot tighter just so they're, you know, more room in the drawer. And then we'll do pants as well. So same thing as jeans and leggings. Um, any type of material, just flat surface, fold in half, tuck the butt in, and then what you're gonna do is fold in half, and then again with lighter material, you're gonna wanna fold one more time, and then it makes for a really beautiful file fold into a drawer. So next we're gonna show you how to file fold swimsuits, a one piece. Same thing, find a hard surface, tuck the straps in, Fold it into thirds on the side, tuck the bottom in, and then you're gonna do three folds. So one, two, and three. Again, depending on the size of the drawer and the style of the bathing suit, it might be a little wider, a little smaller, depending on how the cut is and the material. So we're gonna show you how to um, fold bras. So whenever you have a cupped bra, the rule of thumb is never push the cups into each other. It ruins the, never do that. So it ruins actually uh, the cup. So what you're actually gonna do is turn them, fold them in, and then we tuck in the strap and just put them in a drawer, depending on, again, the size of your drawer. If you have the space, and especially with 
um, certain type of bras, you can lay them out. We just love to color code front to back, light to dark, um, which is really nice if you have the space. If not, putting them together is great too. And then with a bralette, same thing, just straps down, super simple, put them together, and then depending on your space, you can leave them like that or file fold them one more time. It won't ruin the cup at all because there isn't one. And there you go. Next, we're gonna show you how to fold a few different types of underwear. We're gonna start with briefs. So you're gonna put it on a flat surface and you're gonna file it fold into thirds. And then once you get there, you're gonna do half. And then again, depending on your drawer and space, you can do it one more time. Next, we're gonna show you how to fold thongs. So lay it on a flat surface. You're gonna tuck the bottom in twice. Then we bring in the straps once and twice, and then for the extra fold, we do it one more time, and it looks great in a drawer just like this. All wrapped up in a bow. Next, we're gonna show you how to fold socks. Match the heels together on a hard surface. Super simple, just fold in half once, one more time, and then you'll place in your drawer like this. We prefer not to do this because it ruins the elastic on them. Next, we're gonna show you how to fold scarves. So rule of thumb is it's really depending on where are they going. Are they going on a hanger? Are they going in a bin, on a shelf? We like to lay the scarf on a flat surface, fold into thirds, and then you're just gonna keep folding to make it smaller. So fold it into thirds again and again, and just whatever you decide to do, make sure you're consistent with all of the um, scarves that are going together so it looks into a nice little file fold. So we get asked all the time how to fold baby clothes, and it's quite simple. It's really the same rule for adult clothes. Put on a flat surface, tuck in the arms, never go past the collar, and then you'll just fold over. And pending the size of your drawer, you'll just do either two or three folds. Now we'll do a onesie with legs. We love to button everything, but we understand that sometimes that's impossible, busy parents. Um, we tuck both sides in, never go past the collar, then bring up the feet halfway, and then another fold. And then if you have the space, you can either do this or just one more fold. Last one is a onesie without legs. Tuck in the arms, don't go past the collar. And then once you get to that spot, you'll bring in the bottom once and then do it one more time. So whatever you decide to do, just make sure it's also nice that you have labels on your drawers if you can by months. We like to go zero to three months, three to six, and then like items with like items. So onesies are together without the legs, together with them, and then shirts and pants. So we're gonna show you how to fold towels. So the rule of thumb that we use really often is in thirds. So you're gonna flat surface, fold into thirds, and again, depending on the space you're working with and the size of the towels, then you'll fold all the way again in half and one more. This is a very simple way to do it, but again, if you don't have this much space or if you have tons, you can really cater it to each space that you have. Next, we're gonna show you how to fold a fitted sheet. This is one of the hardest things to fold, so be kind with yourself. Yes, listen closely, I'm telling you, you'll be quite the catch talk of the party. Okay, so you wanna put your hands in two of the corners, doesn't really matter which ones, kind of hold them like this, and then you wanna flip your left hand, what's in there, over the right, so they're nested like this, and then you wanna create the same thing on the other side, so you kinda of have to like turn the sheet side out and tuck it into itself until you have the same nested corner. Like that. Once you get this part, you're good. Because then you just do the same thing again. You take the left hand and flip it over the right. So now all four corners are nested into one pocket. And then lay it on a flat surface, floor, whatnot. And you kind of want to make this into some sort of a square. And then you're going to do the rule of thirds. Then you're going to fold once over, and then once more. And then you'll file fold in. And again, depending on where you're putting the sheets, whether you're putting it in a sheet bin or on a shelf, it looks really nice now and it's all put together.